Hello everybody, welcome to my first airport update with my new layout. Here is the overview, see what you think. And uh, let's get started, this is Honolulu International Airport, a roughly accurate replica, not completely accurate but hopefully accurate of the mid, mid, to, mid to late 90s. So here we go. Home short of runway 34 right. We have a northwest slash KLM DC 10. Over here at two of the hard stands, we have a Lufthansa Boeing 747-200 just arrived in from Frankfurt via JFK. And we also have a Condor DC-10, which is also arriving from Frankfurt via Newark. By the way, this Northwest DC-10 is en route to Minneapolis. Over here, at another hard stand, we have a Hawaiian Airlines DC-10, which has just arrived in from Tokyo Narita, and will be departing for San Francisco later this afternoon. Oh, the other two hard stands, we have a United Airlines DC-10, which is coming from Newark. I will be heading back out to Chicago O'Hare. Here we have a United Airlines 747-400. This has arrived in from Chicago O'Hare and will be departing back out to San Francisco tomorrow morning. Over at the main terminal, we have got... A United Airlines 727-200, this has arrived in from San Francisco and we will be parting back there in about two hours time. Next to that is a United 767-200, this arrived in from Minneapolis St Paul and we will be parting back out to Los Angeles in about three to four hours. Next up, we've got two more Northwests. We have a Northwest at the front, a Northwest 757-200, to and from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and behind that, a Northwest 757-300. This one is going to and from JFK. Another hard stand, we have a Delta 767-300ER. This is arriving from Dallas-Fort Worth, and will be departing back to Atlanta, in about four to five hours time. And finally at the main terminal we have a TWA 767-200ER. This has arrived in from Newark and will be departing back out to JFK very very shortly. Okay, taxiing to the runway we have a Hawaiian Air L1011 TriStar. This is going back out to Las Vegas McCarran as it came in there from there probably about five hours ago. At our final hard stand, we have a Pan Am DC-10. This no longer operates for Pan Am as they no longer exist. It is just awaiting repaint by Delta or to be sold on to other companies. Over at the cargo stand, we have one cargo aircraft in today, and that is a DHL DC-8. This arrived in from Memphis, Tennessee about 30 minutes ago. Over in the commuter area is a United Shuttle 737-400. This is in the new United livery, the Battleship Grey, which uh, all, the other, all the other planes in the Sol Bass livery will be converted over to in the next five to six years. This is a uh, island hopper plane being used by United, and this will be off to Oahu, um, Hilo. Oh, sorry, not Oahu. Hilo on the Big Island of Hawaii in about 10 minutes time. And finally for today guys, we have a Northwest 747-400. This is just taxiing off the runway, having arrived in from Seoul in Korea. Okay everybody, that's my airport update for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down below in the comments what you think of it and any other aircraft you think could improve it. One last thing I do want to finish with, I have two new models, uh, sorry, well, two 
model, three new models in two boxes that have arrived today. We have got, to keep the classic theme going, a 767-200 from Delta in the widget livery. Very nice. And one that I've been wanting for a very long time to add to my cargo collection over there as the DHL is quite lonely at the moment. We have got a FedEx DC-1010 freighter. And it's twinned with a FedEx 747-200 freighter. Okay. So let's open these up, guys, and we shall have a look inside. So we've got the stand, the instructions, because under the Dragon Wings models, the old models, you can change the landing gear for plank pieces to make it look like it's uh, airborne. And then the model itself. So let's just open it up. It's a bit tricky with one hand. Hang on. So let's take the uh, protective cover off. And we have. There's the spare bits. And then we take it out of that plastic cover. Here it is, Spirit of Delta 762, widget livery. This will go nicely with the 763 over there. Okay, let's just pop that back closed. We'll sort that out later. Push it over to the one side. And now let's open, let's push the Delta over there. We'll put it taxiing behind the Northwest for now. Ooh. As you can see, my airport's quite not quite finished yet, so there are a few files that aren't stuck down where the boards join. So I might need two hands for this. Hang on with me, bear with me. One second, guys. Okay. So there's the one for the 747. There's the one for the DC 10. Two stands. One for the DC 10. One for the 747. Okay. Let's pop the cover off. Okay, there's some spare bits for, oh, sorry, for the 747, and there's some spare bits there for the DC-10. Okay, let's have a look. There's the 747. In the FedEx purple. 742. And let's have a look at... You. DC-10. 
Now this doesn't have a third set of wheels in the undercarriage because it's a DC 1010, not a DC 1030. The Panam over there is also a DC 1010 and only has just the same landing gear as this, whereas all the other DC 10s you've seen are DC 1030s and they have a, a, th a third wheel set of wheels in the centre like on this northwest one, as you can see there. Okay, so there's the FedEx DC 1010 in the uh, white and purple, along with the uh, FedEx 742 and the Delta 762. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed my airport update for today. Let me know down in the comments what you think, like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.